The easiest way to be on budget while vacationing in Bali is by visiting its gorgeous beaches. Wait, you're not yet tired of visiting Bali beaches, are you? Alright, if you just had enough playing on such mainstream beaches like Kuta Beach, here is one hidden treasure called Bias Tugel Beach. Well, it's hard to pronounce, moreover for us who don't use to Balinese language. But worry not, since the beachscape of this place isn't as weird as the way we pronounce it. In Balinese language, Bias means sand, while Tugel means cut off. So Bias Tugel means a beach where its sand is cut off. This because of the area of this place that ain't that wide. It just spans around 200 meters. Though it's hidden, yet it's pretty easy to reach this beach. Just head to Padang Bay, a harbor where we can set sail to Nusa Penida or Lombok. There, we got two beaches, Blue Lagoon at the left side, and at the right side of us is Bias Tugel Beach. From Padang Bay, we need to walk about 500 meters through an entrance pass where we need to pay just 400 rupiah to keep this beach clean and pristine. Afterwards, we still need to walk along the trucking path that's surrounded by woods. Sandy earth, woods, as well as tree branches around the way you're going through there, hitting Bias Tugel Beach. From 10 to 15 minutes of trekking, with rough and slippery pathway, we're about to see the beauty that awaits ahead from now. Whoa, it's so beautiful! The clean beach with seawater that's as pristine as crystal make a great composition, like the true masterpiece from the Almighty. The pounding waves that's blue in gradation seem like racing to sweep the beautiful beach set. Five years ago, and I met some fantastic musicians on the beach or in the harbor in, in Padang Bay. And then they invited me and my mom to sit with them and sing some songs and listen to the guitar playing. And then we got friendly with them and then they showed us this fantastic beach. And uh, we came back again and again. Now it changed a lot, now it's more crowded, there's more people. And there's chairs to lay on, so it's changing a lot. I hope it's not going to change too much because I think it's a little pearl nobody knows about, not so much. The soaring rocks at the left and the right side of the beach make this place seem secluded from the others. It suits everyone who seek for tranquility or those who bring along family and kids together. The rock is never missed out as an object where people take pictures with. The water blow that's sprouting all the way can be seen like 50 meters from the right side of the beach. What's more interesting here is the rock formation that forms a small lagoon with resembling natural pool where we can swim or soak our body in. Some fish can be seen all the time around the woods. Be 
Beware when the high tide. The lagoon might not be the best place to swim in, since big waves can anytime pound and sweep everything ahead. Other activity that you can do at BS2 Gale is snorkeling. Some places run decent snorkeling gears with pristine blue sea water and waves that ain't that huge. Snorkeling and seeing the underwater scenery surely feels entertaining. We have a nice hotel here. It's clean and it's good. Uh, Ethan is always a bit with the stomach. <laughs> okay, problems with the stomach. En de snorkeling is oké, okay. alleen op dit moment hebben we een high vol op dit moment, wees op dit moment. Maar we hebben zien een lach en we hebben een nijking op drie times, en we hebben voor de vijf times ook daar. En dan zien we montas als het goed is. Dat is onze experience op dit moment. En het is heel nice. Ja, we hebben After had enough exploring every inch of BS2 Gale Beach, we can take some rest at small huts nearby. Though it's not many, but it's enough to shelter you from the sun or also as the place to fill your hungry tummy. So what do you think? Keen on visiting this place? Just make sure you come along with family and friends where it will be more fun 